hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something very very important today. we are going to look at plugins you know um there's a video on the channel where we explained or where we told you why you need qgs or why you need to use qgs However, on this video, we are going to show you how to install plugins, how to do it, how to install plugins. You know, the availability of, let's say, yeah, how readily available plugins are in QGIS is one great advantage the software, the JS software has. So we are going to show you how to get some of those plugins and how you can install them. So this is actually an excerpt from that um, from that video where we used this particular slide. We said QGIS has many plugins, and this on a serious note helps users process data with more ease. And then it offers a plugin library with the entire list of plugins that can help you with supplemental functionalities or functionality, and it's just what it's just awesome. So what exactly are plugins? They are just add-ons or extensions to a computer software that adds new functions to the program, maybe to the host program, without altering the program itself. It adds new functions to, what? to the host program without, what? without altering the program itself. So this is a great advantage and you can add yours when you feel it. Yeah. You can actually create your own plugins as well, but that won't be the scope of today's video. Today's video is for you to explore and exploit those um, plugins that are already on QGIS. So that's what we are going to show to you now. So you are going to come towards um, your main toolbar and you click on what you click on plugin. Now when you click on plugins, you see different options depending on maybe the version you use. However, you see different options. You see manage and install plugins. You see the Python console. Then you see a few plugins that are maybe recently added. Yeah, you see a few plugins that are recently added. So you just click on what manage and install plugins. Good. When the manage and install plugin window is up, this is where the most important aspect is. You no, know, you can see on this particular window you can see that there are what 887 plugins that are on the software now this is a great advantage or yeah this is a great feature of qgs that makes it very easy for what for users you know there was a time some of my senior colleagues were talking about these um, plugins and they said it enhances like the, 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 the plugins reduces exhaustive processing or maybe extensive processing, maybe trying to process some form of um, JS data with um, normal using the normal parameters or maybe trying to get the parameters to process them. But with the plugins, you can just easily select or maybe look for the plugin, then use those plugins or use the plugin to process your data without going through the rigor of maybe trying to set up the parameters. So you can see a plethora of plugins here. Now we have all, we have the installed plugins, that's the plugins that are already installed on your software. Then when you see under these um, installed plugins, you can see those ones that are checked. Those ones that are checked are actually those ones that perhaps are active presently because there are different plugins and even though when installed, they might be inactive. So when you click on them, it shows that you are trying to make them active or you're trying to make them inactive whatever the case is these ones are installed on your software then under the not installed you will see those other plugins that are not yet what they are not yet installed right they are not yet installed so you can go through them you can search let's say um let's see what do we search for okay let's just see data you can search perhaps if you know the specific plugin you're looking for you can just search from the what from the search panel and then it will see what you to where the plugin is so that is how you navigate through the not installed and then the upgradable 
one other thing about QGIS is that it upgrades or it updates these plugins with time or over time, right? Good. So maybe when you have one, perhaps they are installed or they are not yet installed, and you have um, you want to upgrade it, you can easily come under the upgradable or you go to the install and as you scroll down, let's select on Q field now. Now they are telling us that this is a new version. Okay, there is a new version available, which means the version we had before, yeah, the version we had before has been updated. So we can decide to do what upgrade it. Are we together? We can decide to do what upgrade it here, or we come under upgradable where we are going to see it as it is here. Are we together? So when you click on it, you would see the description that is telling you that yes, there is a new version available of which you are expected to do what to upgrade which of course you're not trying to install uninstall rather then when you come under settings when you come under settings this part of the plugin is very very important now this part of the plugin the repository this is where you can connect to the internet so one other thing you need to do is that when you're working on the qgis and plugin you should be connected to the internet it's actually very important because it helps you to download some of those new plugins or it helps you to update and upgrade some of those plugins right good so you come under the settings if it is not connected yet you reload the what the repository good fetching the repositories and it's connecting if yours is not indicated like this then you need to do what you need to load and then you see how what how it comes up it's just a general overview of how what of how the plugins work now, when they see them check for updates upon setup, you know, the, this particular version, we left it under um, checking for the updates every time QGIS starts. So anytime the QGIS starts up, we are going to get the updates that are available on different plugins on the software. Are we together? So sometimes we see them at the, um, the bottom left here at some point, we see the notifications. At the bottom left here that there are new plugins that are available and we can just click on them and then we need to do what we upgrade or we modify at subsequent point so now let's try to install one or two to show you how they work so let's just see and again when you are working yeah let's look at this note on the left you will see a list of plugins that is, these are the list of plugins available for your QGIS both installed and available for download those ones that are installed that is and then those are available for download are all so maybe you just select from those ones you've not downloaded some plugins come with your qgis installation while most of them are made available via the plugin repository so when you install your qgis some of them are already there and you can get some of them from the repository which will just tune you from settings right good you can temporarily enable or disable a plugin by enabling them, that's where you do what you check them or you uncheck them. That's what they mean by that. Are we together? Then we have to enable a plugin. You click on its checkbox good or double click its name. Now plugins showing in red are not loaded because there's a problem. Um, yeah, very very fortunately for us, we don't have any of our plugins in red. Then there are also they are also listed on the invalid tab. Click on the plugin name to see more details or to reinstall or uninstall this plugin. So we don't have any challenge with any plugin that is bad. So now let's look at just one or two. Then let's just um what's this elevation? We have just so somewhere. Okay, let's see. Elevation tab. Convert elevation tiles provided by the Special Information Authority of Japan to Jotif format them. So how do you do it? How do you install? When you just click on it, you come to what? You come to install plugin. Now it's been downloaded, right? Good. Now plugin installed was successfully. And you can see it has been watched, has been checked as we were told earlier. So when we come under install, we are going to find it there. And we can decide to temporarily put it off or put it on as the case may be, right? Good. So so that's how you go about installing and if let's say you want to uninstall a plugin let's come to this um, profile tool let's say we want to uninstall it we do what we come under what uninstall plugin good we have what are you sure you want to uninstall the following plugin yes we do 
good plugin uninstalled successfully so that's how you do it you install and you uninstall now let's look at them um, upgradable those plugins that are there that we need to what we need to upgrade so they say there is a new version what do you do you come towards upgrade plugin right so you click on it and you see it's been downloaded good plugin reinstalled successfully that means it has not it has been upgraded or it has been updated so that's how you go about them so when you've come under your plugin and then you the plugin and tab under your menu toolbar and you've selected the plugin you need and you want to assess it on QGIS like okay you we actually installed um, one plugin called elevation tile 4jb right now let's see how we are going to assess that that plugin so when you are done with this window you just what you close it good so for you to assess the plugin or maybe some of the plugins here that you've just installed under your plugin repository you come under what you come under plugins and then you see it somewhere under what the plugin tab we have what the elevation tile for jp right so you just click on it and then maybe it launches good it launches and you continue with your data input and your data processing so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope We've walked you through the stages or the processes on how you can install or maybe how you can yeah upgrade or maybe how you can select what the different plugins that are available on QGIS. There are so many useful plugins that you can actually find on QGIS and it actually is easier. It enables you to process your your data faster and there are so many benefits of having those plugins on your QGIS. So we are going to show you how to get it from zip, perhaps on a subsequent video. But until then, ensure you keep being good at what you're doing. You keep um, enjoying being a JS expert. And we are going to see you on our next video. Bye.